All right, guys, here we go. Sesto Elemental Qualifiers. I'm not recording on PC. I'm actually recording on my phone because it is faster to play in events on my phone. I can just put my cars in quicker. And yeah, it was a Mitsubishi uh, qualifier. I did really well. Tier 2. I had a really hard deck as well. A uh, really hard bracket. But let's see what we get. Next car means everything. Okay, X3. What are we going to get? Oh! <laughs> Mom! Mom! Let's go! Let's proceed! Let's go! Oh my god! Mom, where's mom? I'm not oh mom's not home right now. Oh if for, for those that don't know, that is my mom's car, the X3. And that is a car I wanted for so long. Oh my god. No way. I'm so happy. Let's go. X3 uh M40i uh, it is in my top 5 list of cars I want the most in top drives and it is in my top 2 list of German Renaissance cars I want the most. In fact, I have two of the German Renaissance cars I want the most, which is this and the M3CS. So Let's go! This is actually like this is a car I wanted for so long. This is like super light category. Anyway, let's uh move on to I'm not sure if it's gonna be the next pack, but let's just move on to whatever I'm gonna do next, because I'm just gonna combine this with something else. Yo guys, what is going on? Blossom is back and welcome back to another episode of Top Drives Top 10. Now before we get into the episode, I just want to say what did you think about that beginning? I know, I know. I I got that car from the qualifiers, of course, for the Sesto Elemento. Beautiful, beautiful name. And as you can see, the prelims is staring at me right in the face here. Not gonna join just yet. But uh, as you saw, I got indeed Mum my mother's car. And as you can see here, let's just check it out real quick. I passed it, didn't I? <laughs> I passed it. I totally passed it. Where is it? I passed it again. Here it is. The BMW X3 M40i. Now, this is an absolutely amazing car. As you can see, since I've gotten it uh, yesterday, I've already put two fuses into it. And then I'm probably going to put another fuse into the engine and it will be two stars by today. Obviously, as you know, I have a lot of um, ultra rares lying around for a situation like this so I can max out an epic lickety split. Uh, I have all these ultra rares laying around mostly for cars like these, the X3 M40i, the super light, of course, the wide body. Uh, and I'm happy to have gotten this car. This was definitely one of the cars I wanted the most in top drives, which brings me perfect transition to today's video. Today is going to be a top drives top 10 cars I want uh, for the rest of the year. This is basically, if you're watching Hutch, uh, I'm, I'm joking, even if they're watching, they can't do anything about it, but um, this is basically my Christmas wish list or my birthday wish list. As you can see, uh, well, you can't because my cam is blocking the amount of money I have. Uh, I have 11,970,000 cash. So I'm very, very close to 12 million. And if you guys don't know, I am doing a massive pack opening on the 30th of December, which is indeed my birthday, Blossom's birthday. Uh, so it's a very special day to me and I'll be opening packs and the amount is still unknown. It's basically however much I can make where 10 million is my zero so if I had did the pack opening today right now I will be opening 1 million 970 K worth so this is gonna be a pack opening well over 2 million and a pack opening well the biggest on my channel anyway hopefully from that pack opening we'll get these top 10 cars or at least one of the top 10 cars on my list one of them is pretty uh, you know pretty possible because there is an ultra rare in this list although it's mostly just epics and legends Legendaries, let's be real. If my top 10 list of cars I wanted were uh, common, then call the police because there's something wrong with me. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, that BMW X3 M40i, I love that car because it hits home, you know, sentimental reasons, uh, sentimental values, and also it's just a car I really want and it's such a useful car in the game. And the picture, the placement, it's perfect. It's perfect. Anyway, let's jump into my top 10. Coming in in 10th place, and this changes a lot. I, I, I've done three wish list videos of top 10 cars I want and literally places 4 to 10 is always different for some reason top 3 is always the same though however from the last top 10 I did I will tell you that the top 3 cars are still the same 3 cars but their positions switched a bit so it will be interesting to see what you guys think is my new number 1 anyway uh, in 10th place we go into 
Ford. Uh, the tenth car I want the most is indeed the 2017 Ford GT for one sole reason alone. I have a very strong American deck, uh, American Dream deck, and American deck. I have a wide variety, literally car of any kind of tire, standard, performance, slick, you name it. Actually, I don't think I have a slick American car, uh, but there aren't a lot besides the Capos, which aren't even out yet. Um, but there is one category I am missing out. And that is RQ30. I don't think, no, I, I don't think, I know, I know I don't have a single R30 American, RQ30 American car. And if there was anyone who was going to choose, because the first thing I can think of is the Ford GT and the NSX. And I just want to let you guys know I am not adding uh, prize cars into this, because it's going to be impossible. And honestly, if I had added prize cars into this, there's only going to be one prize car I really, really wanted at this point and stage. And that is indeed the Roof Yellowbird. Anyway, Ford GT. Uh, uh, it has that RQ30 American tag, really, really want it. I know CMG has this baby maxed out, 969. I want to max it out too, but in the 699 it. Uh, it's a beautiful looking car. I, I, I've seen this in real life multiple times, and it's it's solid. It is a solid, solid car. I see a lot of pay to wins winning uh, and using these in American club events, in clubs, and uh, it's definitely a car I really need. Anyway, moving on to place number nine. I had a bit of a voice crack. I was like, moving uh I don't know, excuse me. We move into Lamborghini, and as you can tell, the Lamborghini SVJ is a prize car I want the most. It wouldn't fit the top 10, but I definitely it's definitely in like the top 15. Uh, but the Lamborghini I do really, really want, however, is indeed this bad boy right here. The Lamborghini Huracan Performante Spider from 2018. Uh, I love everything about this car. I hate the color yellow, but the color yellow on this fits so perfectly. I love the picture as well. I It's not your average fundamental picture where it's just the front of the car or the back of the car i love how it's in motion but i also love how it's an ang it's, it's at an angle you know it's in an incline and you know the background is also moving really quickly i think it's a cool picture it's a great car this thing has an mra of 100 as well so it is very good and 90 handling for a lamborghini is indeed very strong uh 90 with that four-wheel drive capabilities because when you look at the other ones this one's 88 this is 87 uh, what else? This is 90 as well, so that's about the same 90, 90. So yeah, 90 is really the ballpark you want to be hitting for. Even the Aventador is 90. This one here is actually 89. Aventador as Roadster 89. So really, you know, 90 is a really great one. Lamborghini Huracan Performante. Also with that 100 MRA, it's gonna help it a lot. Obviously, the Centenario is also very, very strong. It's faster in every way, but. I don't know, there's just something about this Huracan Performante Spider that really strikes out to me. Anyway, moving on to 8th place, now this is a one maybe some of you may not have guessed, and we're in Cadillac now, and that is indeed the Cadillac ATS-V. Now, one thing I'm kinda weak in in my uh, American deck is uh, powerful, high RQ, medium ground clearance American cars. Uh, obviously, I have uh, the CTS-V Sport Wagon, this is the best one I have. But, you know, it's it's a great car. This car has amazing, amazing MRA. Absolutely insane MRA. Don't get me wrong. But, 4086 compared to 38 and 88. At the end of the day, the only reason why I want to be using these medium ground clearance Cadillacs is because I want to deploy them on city streets and nothing else but city streets. Once in the blue moon, I might put the CTSV in a one mile or a test bowl. But at the end of the day, I really want to use these medium ground clearance cars, uh, Cadillacs, for the city streets because when it comes to the one mile, I have cars that does the job better. I do have a 363 or 121 Dodge Demon. So the ATSV is a car I would really love. 88 handling, of course, is very, very strong. 3.80 to 60 is decent and of course medium ground cleared so i would love that cadillac maybe open uh, some american dream packs down the line who knows anyway moving on is the next uh car and we move into dodge and it is indeed the nitro rt i know a little bit of a meme but i, I mean I you could think it's a little bit of a meme but i actually really want the nitro because when you look at my collection it is the only ultra rare dodge i don't have and guys let's have a think about it i've opened like 30 Dodge carbon fibers, and the fact that I haven't gotten a single Dodge Nitro RT. I, 
what does that i don't even know how that works at some point okay i get it i've never gotten the wide body i mean yeah i've gotten like six srt hellcats and three charger hellcats and no wide body obviously that's an insane statistic but then again you know it is an epic so it's a little rarer this one's an ultra rare I, I mean, when you think about it i've gotten the srt8 like 10 times the daytona like 100 times it's it's weird it's strange I don't know why, but this is number seven on my list, just so I can be a step closer to finishing the Dodge collection. Moving on to place number six now, or sixth place, we go to Roof. Uh, and it is indeed not the BTR2, but the Roof R Compressor 3986 compared to the BTR2's 3985. Ooh, uh, Roof R Compressor, this has been the roof that I've really wanted kind of almost the most. Uh, obviously, the Yellow Bird is something I want more. Uh, but yeah, the Roof R Compressor has been a solid car. Uh, it's been on my wish list since German Renaissance came out. Amazing MRA, and obviously with the Hellcat nerfs, uh, the Roof R Compressor probably is the second best drag uh, car in the game now. Uh, second only to the BTR2. We'll get to that later. That's in the list too. Don't worry about it. Uh, but the Roof Compressor is still... A car that I really want. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, though. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to 699 it or 996. Um, obviously, I'm going to 996 the BTR2, but then should I 996 the roof? Can I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. What I think is really funny, though, is that I've actually given this car away in a giveaway. So I've actually given away a roof arc compressor before getting one by myself. I was really unfortunate because the only RQ26 roof I've ever uh, unpacked was the 3800S. Um, and honestly, that has like the worst MRI out of all the roofs, so uh, not really chuffed about that, already fused it, uh, which some people might get mad at me for doing so. Uh, but anyway, moving on is uh, fifth place now, and we move into Caterham. Uh, or Caterham, sorry, and that is indeed the Caterham Superlight R500. This car needs no introduction. I want to use it for the the slaloms and all that good stuff. 2.90 to 60, 90 handling, 150 top speed. Obviously, the car has no MRA, but who cares? It's a great car. I'll max this out in a heartbeat. Obviously, like I said, this is like same level of excitement if I get it and usefulness and like how much I want it with my mom's uh, X3 M40i. So definitely a car I'm looking for. An interesting stat, guys. American Dream came before German Renaissance. The top two German Renaissance car, I, cars I wanted, in uh, epics at least, were the M3CS and the X3 M40i, and I have managed to get both of them, the M3CS twice, before I got the wide body, which has been around longer, and I have opened a lot more packs that gets you the wide... It's weird. Sometimes I really think this account is cursed. I don't know. Anyway, moving on to fourth place. We're going back to Roof, and we've already talked about this a little bit earlier. It is indeed the BTR2. Uh, best drag car in the game. Uh, amazing MRA, 3.90 to 60, 85 handling, 191 top speed. This car needs no introduction and needs no questions asked about its upgrade. 996 it. That's it. Just 996 the BTR2. Amazing car. Great looking car as well. Anyway, we're now moving into the top three. Uh, you guys know what my top three cars are. It is indeed the wide body, the GT2 RS, and the CT6. But like I said, I changed the rankings a bit. So, you know, last episode, uh, not last episode, the last time I did this, the car that came in first is no longer the car in first. Uh, so you guys can have a guess on what is what. But indeed, in third place, we move into the Germans once again. We actually don't move into the Germans because we're in Roof. So we stay in Germany with indeed the Porsche I want the most. The 911 GT2 RS. I've talked about this thing so many times already, so I'm not going to harp on it too much. Amazing picture, amazing stats, amazing MRA. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, moving on to number two. Can you guys guess what it is? Is it going to be Dodge or is it going to be Cadillac? Like I said, there was a change in the last episode of my top 10. I actually said I wanted the Cadillac CT6 the most because the Hellcat widebody got the nerf in its MRA. However, after I posted that video, I had second thoughts. And honestly, at the end of the day, guys, I really want the wide body the most. Uh, but with that said, the CT6 is much like the wide body. It's a car that actually is worse because this car's been around longer. This car's been around since the game came out. Uh, amazing car, hits 87 handling, four wheel drive, standard tires, medium ground clearance. It's a beautiful car, beautiful picture, and is very, very useful. Uh, the only reason why I'm not as annoyed that I don't have it yet as for the wide body is because it's not like I opened like 30 Cadillac carbon fibers. I've opened probably like four or five Cadillac carbon fibers ever 
in the game. So I'm not really complaining that I haven't gotten one yet. However, I do hope I will get one soon, but that's gonna require a lot of luck. But obviously guys, number one, the car I want the most, everybody knows this already. If I get this on my birthday, if I get this car in my December 30th, like what, two million plus pack opening, I will cry. I will cry and I will cry tears of joy. I will call my mom and my best friends. I'll call Bennett, my brother. I'll call Sarah, Yap, Fiona, literally everyone that knows about my channel has been in my channel, featured on my channel, Jonathan, Eli, anyone. I want this car so bad. Everybody knows that. I'm not going to talk about it too much. I mean, the stats, once again, it's amazing. 3785, amazing picture, beautiful car, amazing top speed, amazing MRA. Obviously not the best anymore, but it is indeed an amazing, amazing car. Uh, if I do get it, though, I'm not going to 332 it. I'm going to 699 it. Uh, wait, sorry, that made no sense. I'm not going to 996 it. I'm going to 699 it. Or I'm not going to 332 it because I'm going to 233 it. There we go. Uh, it's an amazing car. And I really, really want it. Hopefully we can get it before 2020, but you'll never know. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my top 10 list. I am interested to know what your top 10 list is going to be. Is it similar to mine? Completely different? Probably completely, completely different. I don't think anybody else is going to have the wide body in the number one spot, considering it's not the best dragster in the game anymore. Uh, but indeed, it is still my number one. Anyway, it will be interesting to know what you guys think, what your top 10 is. And once again, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you all next time.